And now a toast to moonshine. It's perfectly legal, I assure you. Moonshiners may not be quite as crazy as in times past, but their exploits still cast a spell. And Tracy Smith now casts a light on the moonshiners then and now. The Carolina Piedmont is a place where traditions die hard. Here, among the rolling hills and pastures, you can still find a kind of untrammeled beauty, and you can still find a still. This is the business end, and that's corn liquor. Moonshine, the stuff of legend, and the inspiration for a song by country artist Matt Stillwell. The term moonshine refers to spirits produced and sold without paying the taxes due, an illegal brew often cooked up by the light of the moon. Sociology professor Chris Baker. At night it was much more difficult to see a fire and that ultimately oftentimes made the difference between getting caught and not getting caught. These days you can get legal shine, this stuff. Junior Johnson's Midnight Moon is made by Piedmont Distillers of Madison, North Carolina. Joe Michalik is Piedmont's founder. So is it really moonshine if it's legal? Um, well, some would argue that the moonshine by definition is non-tax paid liquor, but ours is following original moonshine recipes. It's almost 100% corn. And the only difference I would tell you is that we have the permits and the licenses, otherwise it's 100% authentic. And the taste is surprising. I mean, it has a taste of vodka to it. Yeah, I mean, a little, a little sweet to it, right? Well, you can taste a little of the sugar. Well, the heat is kind of overpowering the sweet, but no, there is, there is a sugar to it. That's the corn. Yep. Mm, corn liquor. The recipe comes from Junior Johnson himself. It's a lot better than what my father did. You didn't really drink what your dad made. Did a little bit and got uh, in trouble with it, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Junior's no stranger to trouble. He grew up making moonshine in the hills with his family. Uh, that's the only way they had really surviving. And uh, uh, it was uh, either you make whiskey or you go hungry. But Junior Johnson's real talent was delivery. His legendary driving skills kept him ahead of pursuing lawmen, except for the one time he was caught and sent to prison. In time, Junior and some of his fellow former bootleggers became heroes on the fledgling stock car race circuit. Some of the major stock car drivers um, and moonshiners of the day um, went to World War II, and many of them um, learned to be mechanics. Sometimes they worked on airplanes, sometimes they worked on tanks, but when they came back from the war, they started working on stock cars, and they also learned how to transform the engines, and th what they did during that period with those engines became NASCAR later on. Junior Jackson! Junior Johnson's story of a moonshiner turned race car driver inspired the 1973 movie, The Last American Hero. In many people's eyes, Junior really is the last American hero, but he isn't the last American moonshine maker. Throughout the United States, there are illegal stills in operation to this day. They may look nothing like the old-fashioned wood barrels or copper kettles in the woods, but the basic process is the same, from the mixing of the corn and sugar mash to the collection of the final product. It's been said that there'll be moonshine as long as there are people who are proud of their heritage, because legal or otherwise, moonshine tastes like <laughs> tradition. All right, down. <laughs> Was that a good haul or a bad? <laughs> Still to come. Even if all the kernels pop, steam condenses on the dome and runs back. The science of cooking. Even if it worked perfectly, and later. Mm. What's this? Just eat it and I'll tell you. Easy as pie. <laughs> Just eat it. 